coming home. Shane McGowan's remains returned to Nina for his funeral mass to loud applause from the people of Tipperary who'd gathered in huge numbers as the cortege made its way to the Church of St Mary of the Rosary. This was a funeral mass of remembrance and celebration of the life and talent of Shane McGowan. Gifts brought to the altar included his favourite vinyl records, his book of art, a hurley and a box of tea. Shane had a cup of tea maybe 50 times a day during his life, loved the tea. The backdrop to the funeral mass was taken from Shane McGowan's extensive songbook, his wide circle of friends singing in tribute to him. Now all is Among them, Imelda May, Declan O'Rourke, Mundy and Camille O'Sullivan. First time I saw you, you were standing in the street. You were so cool, you could have put out Vietnam. And there was an emotional but beautiful rendition of Rainy Night in Soho by his musician friend Nick Cave. I've been loving you a long time. Down all the years, down all the days And I've cried for all your troubles There were many readings and prayers from well-known friends evoking the peace and compassion which were also emblems of Shane's personality. We pray for a deeper spirit of compassion in the world. May we feel the pain of others, understand their need, and reach out to all who suffer in any way with a continuous love that is rooted in faith and peace. My words are words of gratitude. Gratitude for Shane's genius, for his songs, for his creativity, for his attitude. Celebrant Father Pat Gilbert spoke of Shane McGowan as the bard of our times, a singer, a trailblazer, giving light to our often dark skies. I know you will miss him terribly. A voice, a presence around you and with you is suddenly silent. In one of his best loved songs, The Sick Bed of Cúchalan, he interrupts his own funeral snarling and they'll take you up to clump prior and shove you in the ground and you'll stick your head back out and shout we'll have another round there was a rousing rendition of one of Shane McGowan's classics to cheers and applause in the packed church His wife, Victoria Mary Clark, and his sister, Siobhan, spoke of Shane's enormous love of family and their pride in all he achieved. What he, he liked to explore all aspects of consciousness. He liked to explore where you could go within your mind. I remember him as a little boy, a bit gangly, in a blue anorak, who whenever we came home to tip would rush to retrieve a cap from one of our uncles. Proudly, he would twist it onto his head and run out into the fields. And finally, the parting glass. Jane McGowan's body was taken from the church and through the streets of Nina, a fitting tribute to a remarkable musician and friend whose musical poetry found resonance and relevance across the world. Cathy Halloran, RTE News, Nina, County Tipperary.